Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming out and spreading the love today. Just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for tuning into this, and I hope that if you like this video, you can pass it on to other people that this might help as well. Basically, what we're doing here is using vocal warm-ups to not only improve our vocal health, but also to improve our mental health in this time of craziness. Of course, we'll carry on afterwards, hopefully. But this is a safe space to either go over warm-ups that we know, or to gain new warm-ups to go with our voices. I have a lot of friends who in the past have suffered vocal damage or just really wanted to improve the sound quality of their voices. And so one of them, Helen, thank you so much for giving me this idea, said, well, why don't you create a YouTube channel for vocal warm-ups? And here we are. So I keep playing with a hairband. <laughs> Anyways, but so thank you all so much for joining. It's very important to keep up our vocal health so that we can continue to sing long afterwards, whether it's it's going to be in the same range or not is a whole different idea because voices do change over time. I mean, mine definitely has. But this is a great opportunity for us to bring our voice back to square one today on this first day, which is going to be all with humming exercises. Now, you can do these humming exercises with just air. Bear with me. <laughs> Some people are going, what else would you do it with? But you can also do it breathing into a glass of water with a straw. So we're gonna get started on that in just a little bit. So like we mentioned before, we're going to be doing some humming exercises today just to bring your voice back to its original format. Basically, these can be either a warm-up exercise to start your warm-ups off, or even a cool-down exercise, or even just on a day that your voice feels very tired, like mine does today. So basically, all that you're doing is you're humming through what we call the mask. Now, you're not going to be gritting your teeth because e Mm, that causes, uh, I mean, it causes a lot of jaw tension. We don't want that in singing. We don't want jaw tension. The other thing is don't worry about creating a sound. This is something I tell all my students when I work with them. Don't worry about going, mm. it doesn't, it doesn't need to be that loud. It's just a nice, simple, simple hum. So, and it's just up. We're going up to the fifth. So it starts out with If you have some little trill in there, if you have some vibrato, that's okay. Um, but our goal is mainly just to keep keep it nice and loose, keep everything calm. So we start A step up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes, like what's happening in my mouth, your back molars will start to vibrate <laughs> due to the sound. Not sure why, but they'll start vibrating depending on the frequency. So keep going. Mm -hmm. you're sitting here going, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here watching this woman hum. Try to do a mantra to yourself as you go. Let's incorporate some spirituality in this. So as you go on, just kind of concentrate, concentrate on what you're doing. But if you want, just kind of, you know, let your mind latch onto something like this is going to be a great day or things are going to get better. This whole virus thing will 
finally disappear. <laughs> Anyways, so now with that exercise, you go all the way up the scale to the top that you're comfortable with in your range. If it doesn't go all the way up to the top of your range, it's okay. If you start to feel the crack, that's also okay. That's just transitioning over your breaks and it's allowing your voice to kind of figure itself out for the day. So when you get up to the see how there was that break? That's okay. Our goal is to smooth that over over time and also learn how to work with it and be able to access uh, access it if we need it. Because sometimes like in yodeling, you might use it. So then you come back down the scale doing those Now, like I said before, this is a great exercise for if you're feeling vocally fatigued. And if you really are, you can pull out your straw, the old straw, and take your glass of water, and you're going to submerge the straw into the glass of water. Oh, got lipstick on it. Now, if you have a big bottle, this also works really well with. I just have a glass at the moment, so you can actually see what's happening. So you're going to put the straw down. The, the further down you put, the harder you're going to work which isn't a bad thing because what you're doing is you're helping relax your throat. You're helping to create a stronger voice as well as a healthy voice because it's requiring you to relax. So doing the same, I'll let you see. So you see, it's a lot harder the lower you go. Now through this straw, let me just tap it out. <laughs> through this straw, you're gonna do the same humming exercise you can actually do this without the water too so let's do that at first so grab your straw if you have a straw if not don't worry you can also go or pretend that you have a straw but i highly suggest getting a straw because it's very good for your for your vocal cords so put the straw in your mouth and begin again there's that break so when you reach the break, as my teacher is telling me, <laughs> yeah, all these are from teachers, y'all. Uh, basically, imagine that there's two pillars in the back of your neck that's, that's really holding you up. That's your foundation. The other thing is to do like a lateral pull in the back as if you're going to do some weights. So you have that, that other foundation as well, which is all of your back muscles. So do it again. Forget we're going up. If your pitch isn't directly in the center, also don't worry. You're just warming up your voice. Our voice is not always going to be perfect every single day. It's just not. It's going to fluctuate. You'll have higher notes one day, lower notes the next. So don't panic. So now let's do it with the glass of water. So let me see what you know. Ooh. <laughs> I'll make a little less. Now with this, keep the stream going so you don't want keep it. You can also just blow through a straw without actually doing the vocal exercise, which will also help strengthen you.
I don't know about you, but I'm getting cracked up right now because my mom was always like, stop blowing bubbles in your chocolate milk. Yeah, mom, it's a vocal exercise now. Hey, oh. <laughs> sorry, mom. Sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> so now let's try it with the exercise. And remember, the lower you put it in the water, the harder it's going to be for you to work. So let's start with just, you know, a little bit at the top. So like I said, that goes all the way up your range as high as you're comfortable with and then back down as low as you're comfortable with. A straw exercise will also help improve your lower notes. Oh, I should also say thank you, Anna Kate, for my straw. I really appreciate it and it has come in so much handy since you've given it to me. So thank you. So everybody go out and buy a straw. <laughs> um, anyways. So these exercises aren't necessarily for vocalists either, for people who are singers. These can also be for people who are speaking or for people who are just on vocal rest, normal people every day who just are feeling tired. So already my voice feels a lot more relaxed. Um, but yes, so that's a warm up and a cool down exercise and it's our first humming exercise. Uh, on day one. So thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been lovely getting to warm up with you and I will see you next time for our next vocal warm-up. So have a good day. Stay COVID-19 free please. <laughs>